Hey, this is Justin Johnson here. I've got this uh, gumbo guitar, uh, four string resonator uh, guitar right here. And this was hand built by Servas Bolin of Gumbo Guitars out here in the Netherlands. And I'll be running this guitar straight into this Mint 10 Pocket Preamp here, also hand built by uh, Gumbo Guitars. And I'll be going uh, for this demonstration to show you both the tone of this instrument and the tone of these uh, preamps. I'm going to just be plugging straight in to a PA. And um, you know the good thing about these preamps is uh, that really give you all of the um, all of the tone that comes out of the piezo actually reaches the final destination in the mixer. And a lot of times when you're in a situation of plugging a small piezo, those round piezo discs into a PA, you get this thin, wiry, tinny sort of tone. And um, these preamps are just awesome for giving you all of that fat low end. And so. Um, Again, for this demonstration, I'll, I'll be getting all the tone is coming straight out of this piezo with just the preamp here. And uh, I'm going to do some, uh, this is a nice uh, fretless high action slide uh, model um, license plate guitar here. So it's perfect for some slide lessons. And a lot of times I see people tuning, I think it's almost become a standardized tuning with cigar box guitars, is the open G tuning, a G major tuning which is the middle four strings of a six string pack tuned to a G, D, G, B or a root, fifth, root, major third um, tuning. And that's a great tuning, it's really versatile. And I found that a lot of um, my playing, I'll end up tuning the same strings, those middle four strings, I'll tune them to an open A tuning that is A, C sharp, E, and then an A an octave up. And I also call it the Star Spangled Banner tuning because you can play uh, if you want to check your tuning. You got that melody right there to, to help you check it. And the good thing about this tuning, there are a few good things that I really like about this tuning. For one, the bass note is the root note. It's on the bottom, just like in an open G tuning. Only in this tuning, you have the same note, an octave up, on the top. Which means you can resolve lines to the top root note or the bottom root note. That fifth is right here, your second string from the bottom. And then your major third second string from the top. So you can play a lot of um, sort of those old Elmore James licks that I really like. A lot of those were in I think an open D or an open E tuning and this is sort of you know the intervals are a lot like the top four strings of an open E tuning. <laughs> playing there is I'm sliding up to the 12th fret and just sort of hammering away on those top two or three strings and then end it with a get that root, that I mean that uh, third, and just start a half step below on the 11th fret, and resolve to the top note, or do the same thing, but resolve to the bottom note. So you can use that technique. Uh, kind of come up with your own riffs. fifth fret here to your D do the same thing
see some interesting ways you can use that that fact that the root is in the top string and the bottom string by resolving some of those sliding lines. Another really cool thing about this tuning is the, the fact that you have this specific interval in the middle, which is the major third and the fifth. If you take that, if you're in this open A, let's say you're in an A chord, which is just this open chord, if you take that up three frets to your third fret right here, and you just play those middle two strings, you have a really great blues double stop, which is uh, two notes played at the same time. And uh, again, I'm just playing those middle two strings on the third fret right here. And then playing the top two strings open. So you're going to the D chord on the 5th fret. And when you want to go to that double stop, you just go up 3 frets from whatever chord you're on. It's going to be a, let's say, uh, an A7. Here's your A7. Go three frets up, middle two strings. And it'll sound good and uh, nice and bluesy over that. Same thing if you're in your, on your fifth fret. Go up three frets to your eighth fret. Go up three frets, middle two strings. on the 7th fret and E, same thing. Now that we're in this A major tuning, let's dissect a few of these riffs um, that I commonly use and can give you a sort of a roadmap for coming up with your own riffs. Uh, we'll start out with um, Say something like this, it's a good way to, I think, start out a blues song. So. And then you go on, but um, what I'm doing there is I'm starting out by playing up here on the 12th fret on the highest two strings. You just kind of rock those strings back and forth. Uh, no wrong way to do it. And then you come up to the middle two strings, up three frets up, like we were saying before. So this will be 12, 13, 14, 15th fret. So. So again, uh, 12th fret on the top two. And that's the 15th fret on the middle two. Do it again. And then resolve that after the third time you do it. With that uh, second string there, that C sharp, from the 11th to the 12th fret. And then resolve it on that low note, that low A, on the 12th fret. So again, this whole riff, a little slower, is a... Uh... Again.
on the, the four chord or the uh, D, it's a D major on the fifth fret. And let's say um, you want to try to do a riff here on the fifth. Uh, something like that. So that's uh, again, you're rocking this uh, second string from the top here, the C sharp. We're going to go from the 4th fret, slide up to the 5th, and then hit that high A on the 5th fret. Then you do the same thing, but resolve on the low A this time. So first time you resolve on the high A, second time you resolve on the low A, all on that 5th fret. you do it in it's gonna sound gonna sound good either way so let's say uh, and then again you just hit that double stop in the middle three frets up always sounds good if you're three frets up from whatever chord you're on so this D is on the fifth fret so it's gonna sound good if you go one two three frets up to the eighth fret middle two strings Again, that whole thing together is... Again. Again. And then let's say, uh, you know, you can go back to your... Something up there on the 12th fret, 15th, just following those same rules. And then for your turnaround, which will be on the 7th, that E, and then the 5th, that D. I like to do, um, sometimes I like to do a nice simple riff, uh, again following these rules. And just do the same exact thing that you did on the 7th fret, do it on the 5th fret, so it's uh... Again, uh, that'll just be a slide up to the 7th fret. Same thing on the 5th fret, 4th and 5th. For the, the, you know, put a nice tail at the end of this, let's just go. Which again, uh, this tuning is nice because you use that middle double stop that we've been using. Start on the third fret, and you hit that open A first. And then you want to do this double stop, the middle two strings, on the third fret, then the second, then the first. And then open. So. Again. And then 7th fret. So again, uh, that first riff here. Uh, 